What's going on, everybody? Happy Monday. I had to shift some videos around this week, so the intro may be a little jacked up in a few of them, but uh, I think they're good, though. I think they'll be good either way. So, lots going on for a Monday today. Lots. Uh, wow. So, on the screen, we're going to hit two things here. Social media basically calling out Panini for a goof, and PSA with a, you know, a good old WTH or WTF, whatever you want to use there. So I'm going to cut real quick. If you guys look to the right-hand side of the screen to that video, it's going to pull right up, and then I'll be right back. This is an $835 box. There's only one card in the box, and it's encased every single time. So they grab a one touch, put the card inside, and they seal it on top. So a customer pulled a Trey Lance patch auto to 49. Beautiful card. We were happy. We were celebrating. Then we flipped this bad boy over. It's sealed. It's sealed. What do we do? All right, we're back, everybody. So short video on that. To me... I got the, you know, poking fun at it, the talk on social media. I don't get with the people really being super upset with what has transpired over the past year or two. Um, with it here, I mean, do you pop it out and take it out or not? To me, I wouldn't. Serial numbers on the front of the card. Everything you need to know is on the front of the card. Unless you plan on grading it, don't pop it. Bad QC or quality control buy Panini onto it, it should have been caught. It didn't. But is it the end of the world to uh, that card? No, not really. I mean, blunders do happen on this stuff like that there. But I could see a lot of worse things that could have happened that it contained a G.I. Joe card, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle card, maybe Austin Powers card. Heck, it could even contain maybe a UFC uh, Panini card into it. Something crazy off the wall. But just still having the Ultra Pro uh, original, whatever they want to call it, ad thing that goes in the cases, still into it. Eh, not the end of the world really to me. I, I, I did find it amusing, but especially when I was looking through the comments on Twitter and Instagram both onto this, I mean, there's some people really upset about that. I... I no, you're supposed to like choose and fight your own battles and everything. This is just one I just got it, move on, it happened type deal. I mean, if I was the owner of the car, reach out to me, maybe they'll take it out for you, reseal it and stuff. I, I, I don't know. But to me, it wouldn't just be like the end of the world type blunder that happens with a lot of the stuff we've seen. All right, let me pull that off the screen real quick, and we're going to talk about Burlander. Oh, Tops, I said this before, why did you make this set? Because they're all over eBay. People are calling them autos. There's people that don't have the knowledge, thinking they're real autos. It's just bad. Then we have PSA, and I know right now I can tell you, let me give you a status this. This has been taken down off of eBay. I know emails have gone to PSA and to the person on here. The person has this with like 3,200 feedback, 99.7% uh, positive feedback. I don't think they were intentionally or maliciously trying to defraud anybody. They bought it and probably just didn't know any better on to it, to be honest. Um, wow. But let, let's get into this real quick. I'm sure somebody at PSA lost their job today. I, I'm almost positive onto this here. I know we expect excellence and we deem people out there. And I'm going to do this in a separate video coming out, um, you know, with basically with expertise that we put our trust and faith into. But this this here should never made it through PSA. Never. Not even once. I understand about people that have swapped out patches and cards and stuff like that because you have to know what it looked like prior to it, and there's some really, really good people out there who can take that stuff out and put cool new patches in and stuff, but this here just bad. And Toss are doing this set. I've already hit that enough in another video, so I'm going to stop there. Let's go on to this. Really, really, I'm just upset that this has even gone through and we're even at this point right now. 
All right, I looked at this to see to make sure if this was a PSA slab or not. And I'm pretty much, you know, 100% sure. I want to make sure somebody didn't cut a picture out, put it on there and all this, you know, across the board. Um, maybe somebody made a label, put this in there, trying to do whatever onto it. So I looked it over pretty good. Um, it has the smoky background. It has the PSA logo at the bottom. I mean, without having a black light being able to tell, you know, on the other pieces onto it, it pretty much does. I will tell you, I tried putting it in. I'm going to flip it over real quick. That's what I get when I get it. I think that their system's updating right now, so I don't know what the certain numbers, if it's been pulled yet or not. But let's go to the back. This is how you guys can tell that this is not a real autograph. It said it's a Chrome autograph card right there. Read down at the bottom here. Front of the card is a reproduction of a historic Tops baseball card. It does not contain an original autograph and or relic. Any autograph and or relic depicted is a reprinted copy of the original signature and or relic material. It's right there. So if you guys are ever in question on this and you don't have a picture of the back card, just read that. If that statement's in it, this is part of an insert set, not real. I was fooled at first when I was opening up tops this year. I'm like, oh, this is cool insert on. I'm like, wait a minute. And I started looking. I'm like, this is a lithograph. And then I looked at the back and I felt like an idiot. You know, you can get taken really quick because of all the different insert autos out there and stuff like that there. But until you know that's not really a fresh ink, it's a lithograph, it's hard to determine. Again, this has been taken down. I kept the seller's name off of this uh, just for the fact of the feedback rating. I know you guys can track all this stuff out there and stuff like that there. They ended it. I don't, like, I don't know if eBay forced them, they did it, if they got in contact with PSA over it, what all is being done onto it. I'm sure something is going to pop up on a tweet from PSA eventually onto this. I don't know if it will be today or tomorrow. Hopefully I catch it. Um, if you guys can see it, hit me up on email. I know there's been a lot of emails to me about different things. I've been trying to get everything put onto videos. I uh, still got like one or two things I'm working on, uh, just longer cut and splices of videos and stuff like that there. But two key examples today of stuff on social media where both PSA and Panini just getting, I guess you could say, called out on, on social media onto these blunders. Panini, eh. Like I said, when I first seen this, I thought it was funny and stuff. It just wasn't the end of the world type deal onto it. And that's my own personal opinion onto it, where others might be super upset, like I seen in the tweets and Instagram posts. Now, the Verlander, totally different story going across the board onto it. Just bad, bad, bad <laughs> across all different types of aspects onto it. But all right, everybody. Quick video today. Appreciate it. I will catch you guys next video. And I push the gridiron until Wednesday. So if anything's out of whack and with my way I'm talking on there, it's because I wanted to get this out today. All right. Talk to you all next video.